please don't forget to smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share this video. You can also check the description of this video and you'll find my compiled link featuring my Patreon, my Trade Binder, TCG Player Affiliate link, Discord, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. So check all that out and I will see you in the video. How's it going everybody? CJ here, back with another video. We're doing a first thoughts today. This first thoughts is on Old Gnawbone. This is a cool commander. Mono green, lots of treasures, lots of ramp. This is like a Timmy's dream. You can just fill this deck with ramp and bombs and you're happy. Like, just ramp into Old Gnawbone, throw in a bunch of cool cards that you can play after you make a million treasures. It seems great. It's kind of like a Sakiko Mother of Summer. Just like strictly better, like much better. But it's a cool little syner like, synergy there. You can throw a Sakiko in there for some extra mana. Seems good. But the categories I'm going to be talking about here are token doublers. We've got big creatures that can net you a lot of treasures. Some ways to get more benefits off of dealing damage to your opponents. A whole lot of one-off cards. The meme build. And a lot of cards for in the 99. So we're going to hop into this. Token doublers. Uh, I've only got three real token doublers to talk about here, being Parallel Lives, Primal Vigor, Doubling Season. Just double all your treasures, that seems fantastic. You can th also throw in Second Harvest to double your tokens again. Just like, oop, four mana, double tokens, yay, more mana. It's like a ritual in this deck, which is kind of cool. Next up, we're talking about the big creatures that you can use to net you a lot of mana. You've got Galta, of course. Soul of the Harvest, it's not super big, but it draws you a bunch of cards, so it's definitely worthwhile. And it does have Trample. There's Pathbreaker Ibix, which gives all your creatures Trample and a huge buff and can net you a ton of uh, treasures. And Aggressive Mammoth, just a way to give all your creatures Trample. That seems great. Cards are, And it's also a big Trampler, so awesome card there. Just ways to give your stuff Trample and Evasion or Flying or anything like that. Seems awesome in this deck, so that way you can ensure you're getting treasures. Uh, some cards that will give you extra benefits when you deal damage to an opponent. You've got Toski, Bear of Secrets, Orin Frostfang, Keeper of, and Keeper of Fables, and Mask of Memory all to get you extra card draw. Seems like great includes. You can throw in Bloodforge Battle Axe so you can make more axes and make your creatures bigger and get more treasures. Seems great. And Strixhaven Stadium. You can win the game off this, so why not? Cool card. It's a cool card. A bunch of the one-off cards here. Ronus the Indomitable. You can give things trample. You can buff things. It's a really low-cost 5-5. Five, five. Seems great in the deck. You got Yeva. You're playing mono green. Why not just play all your creatures at instant speed? Great card. You've got uh, ways to just kind of close out the game, being Overwhelming Stampede, Crater Hoof, and Enraged Forerunners. All these will give your creatures trample and make them bigger, so you're getting a ton of extra treasures if you're not winning the game off of it. But, if you do, but you easily could win the game off of any of those cards. You've got a lot of ways to draw cards off of having a bunch of big creatures, including Greater Good, Momentous Fall, Life's Legacy, Rishkar's Expertise, and my personal favorite, Return of the Wild Speaker, which can also buff your team and give you a ton of extra treasures or win you the game. It seems awesome. There's Exponential Growth, which you can use to just net you a ton of mana because of how big you're going to make your creatures, or a creature. Summoning Station, you can use to kind of turn treasures into tokens. So like if you swing in and hit for seven, you can sack a treasure to create a, a pincher token. And let me double check. When, how does this thing on top again? I don't have every single card memorized yet. I'm sorry, guys. Summoning Station. Whenever an artifact is put into a graveyard from play, you may untap it. So you make seven treasures. Say you just hit with the old knob on, you make seven treasures. You tap it, make a pincher. You sack one treasure, untap it. Tap it, make a pincher, sack a treasure, untap it. So you can just kind of... To net. So you still get all of the mana from the treasures, but you also get a 2-2 two -two for each treasure. That seems like an awesome include in this deck. Academy Manufactor, I love this card, and I think this card is going to end up seeing tons and tons of play all over the place, and here's another great deck for it. You can, instead of getting a treasure for each for each damage you do, you get a treasure, a clue, and a food. 
So you're tripling up your artifacts, you're getting card draw artifacts, you're getting life gain. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome card. Auto include. Uh, Helix Pinnacle. Pinnacle. You can put all this extra mana into a Helix Pinnacle to win the game. Inspiring Statuary. You can turn your treasures into mana rocks so you don't have to sacrifice them and just net you a ton of mana that way. Awesome card there. I love Inspiring Statuary in these style decks. And there's a couple other ways that you can turn your treasures into more beneficial cards. Like Crark Clan Ironworks, you can turn a treasure into two mana. Seems pretty good. Trading Post. You can draw cards off your treasures. Rampage of the Clans. Turn your treasures into creatures. Seems great. And the last one off card I want to talk about is Idol of Oblivion. Just a good card draw engine. You're making tokens all the time. Seems worthwhile. Now on to the meme build. I don't have much to talk about for the meme build, but the meme build is basically just making this a primal surge deck. Throwing all permanents into this deck and just going nuts with it. Just having a fun time with all these different permanents and then you win with primal surge to throw everything in your deck onto the battlefield. That seems fun. I like that. And lastly, in the 99, we've got a lot of stuff here for in the 99. We've got Gore Claw. It gives trample to everything. It buffs your big creatures. It's perfect for this style deck. Belagros. I mean, it likes big mana. This is big mana. Uh, Sadar Kondo, Edric, and Derevi. All of those like creatures dealing combat damage to your opponent, so you might as well get mana out of that too. I'm going to be throwing a um, Old Nawbone into my Sidar Kondo and Malcolm deck. So I'm very excited about that. You can throw in any Dragon Tribal deck. Seems fantastic there. Especially because they all fly. <laughs> Corvold. These treasures are going to get sacrificed to... Like you sacrifice a treasure to get the mana out of it. So, why not draw cards off of each treasure that you sacrifice? Amazing. Chatterfang. Every time you make a treasure, you're also making a squirrel, so you're making a ton of squirrels too. You got, like, any other token decks or go-wide decks that seems awesome in. Essex, it seems very, very cool for Essex because you're going to have all these tokens entering at the same time. You can make them into any other type of token, or those tokens into a copy of any creature you have instead. That seems awesome. Uh, you got Xenagos. I mean... It's just big, dumb stuff, and if you hit with this big, dumb thing and you double its power, then you're getting a million mana. Worth it. And uh, if you have these cards in your decks, then you could think about throwing Old Nobbone in that deck as well, because it synergizes very well. It goes infinite with Aggravated Assault and Hellkite Charger, just to make infinite combat steps, and therefore infinite mana and a whole bunch of stuff. Good. You've got Revel and Riches, which... You can just kind of win the game off of Old Nawbone. Seems good. And Reckless Fireweaver. All these treasures enter in the battlefield. They're going to deal damage to each of your opponents. That seems great. Just tons and tons of damage to throw around with that. And that is everything I have for Old Nawbone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Peace out, everybody.